All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures, basic data structures, <laughs> copy an array with the spread operator. All right. So while slice allows us to be selective about what elements of an array to copy, among several other useful tasks, ES6's new spread operator allows us to easily copy all of an array's elements in order with a simple and highly readable in, pardon me, readable syntax. The spread syntax simply looks like this, three dots. We've already learned this, but let's go over it again. Why not? So in practice, we can use the spread operator to copy an array like so. So we'd have let's let uh, this array equal true, true, undefined, false, and null. And then we'd have let that array equal dot, 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 this array. So basically it's just putting this array into that array. Ha, 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 ha. Anyway, so that array equals this stuff right here. And this array remains unchanged. And that array contains the same elements as this array. Ha, ha, ha. Could it be? Anyway, whatever. Uh, so we have defined a function. This, so we have a function defined for us copy machine, which takes r, an array, and num, a number, as arguments. The function is supposed to return a new array made up of num copies of r. Uh, they've done most of the work for us, but it doesn't quite work yet, all right? So we're gonna modify the function using spread syntax so that it works correctly. And hint, another method we have already covered by, of course it's, anyway, so let's do this. First off, I don't know about you, but I cannot stand while loops and I can't stand this thing, because I would never do it like this. I would do a for loop. Maybe it's a little bit more verbose, but I like for loops better. So what I'm gonna do here is say for, we're gonna say let i equals zero. And then we'll say while i, whoops, while i is less than, and then I'm gonna say not, we're gonna start at num. So we're gonna say while i, we're gonna say let i equal num. And while i is, greater than uh, zero, we're gonna say i minus minus, all right? So it's gonna, this is gonna be the number and then we're going to uh, iterate backwards while we're uh, going through this thing, all right? So what we're gonna do here is say new r dot push and it's referring to this new array right here. And what we're gonna push into there is dot 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 r like that. And then we'll say down here, after the four, we'll say return right here. What? After the four, we'll have another, come on now. We'll come over here, add another one of these to close off this thing. And then we'll say return new R like that. And you see, we've got true, 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 false, true, true, false, true, like that. Let's run the test. Doesn't work. What's the deal? Oh, because we need the arrays. So instead of pushing just dot, 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 R, we're going to highlight this whole thing and make it an array literal like that. And you see it now has the array true, false, true two times, right? So let's run the test. Looks good and submit it. All right. Now we're on to combine arrays with the spread operator and... We'll see you next time.